Welcome to Wednesday Ramblings. This message series uh, has been a little bit confusing for me because in the first instant I called it Compelling Truths, but as I was preaching last weekend I started to think that rather than being compelling truths, they're simply truths that matter. They're not a list that you'll find in a theological um, book. They're not something you'd find in the Catechism. They're just simple truths that underpin the whole of the Christian life. It's the truth of the presence of the power of the community. And when the community uh, is working together, supporting others, then there is so much more that can happen. And we saw that how the crowds brought people to the portico of Solomon so that the shadow of the apostles might pass over them and they might be healed. We heard the story of the divine mercy of God where Jesus comes into our midst and says those who sin you forgive they are forgiven. It reminded to us that our journey on earth is not a journey where we're people called uh, living as saints all the time but rather that we're a people who are on the journey towards being healed and uh, experience the mercy of God. It's all a strange kind of situation because in some ways our readings perhaps are a little bit reversed in the reading from the Acts of the Apostles we see how the enthusiasm that the disciples show preaching the gospel made a difference in the world and yet in our gospel we hear how when something goes wrong they revert back to their old behavior and our gospel this weekend has the disciples going back to what they know best to be fishermen and as they set out to be fishermen they just completely leave behind what was the message that Jesus had preached in order to be, feel comfortable, to feel safe. So I suspect that all of us might feel that way at some stage or other. I know I do. I know that, and I'm pretty confident I'm not alone in that, that there are times when I don't trust God enough, don't trust God to be with me and to support me and to be the, the means by which I can achieve so much. So the truth that I'd like to leave with us today is the truth that God does dwell in our hearts. God does live in our midst. God does move things so that we can begin to know and experience not only the mercy of God, but also the grace that God lead, gives us to lead us to do new and greater things. Compelling truths, truths that matter, it simply is a truth. Jesus, our Saviour, died for us and rose that we might have life and have it to the full. I'd like to hope that this week we can accept that grace and live that gift in the way we speak the good news to one another. Take care and God bless you.